what you want, what you what you want. What's up, YouTube? Fat Kings Phil here again with my pre-op video number four. <clears throat> I've debated doing more of these. They're pre-op. I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I just some thoughts for going on. But I thought it might be interesting for people who are in the process of being pre-op. Uh, maybe I'm a little further along than there. And I got some stuff I wanted to share about that. But ultimately, I mean, you know, uh, there are many more people in this community you can be looking to for success um, who are post-op. <laughs> I am just giving you some of the, the details here that are pre-op. Uh, I hope you guys caught TJ's video. TJ threw a video up. Um, and so uh, while he was driving, which was kind of fun and comical to me, um, I decided to change my beard color to match uh, VSG Kirk's beard color, although I... I noticed over here it didn't take so well, so I'm gonna have to fix that here. Looks like it's missing over there, but it's, it's there, I promise. <laughs> I didn't shave it off, so it is there. Um, so yeah, um, I just throw it out there as a, as a joke because Kirk did this great thing where he held up the beard color in the screen that made me laugh. So anyway, alrighty, so um, let's get to it. Um, so I talked to the insurance company this week. I talked to the surgeon's office. I talked to the hospital. I talked to the, um, anesthesiologist and, uh, let's talk about some numbers. Cause I want you guys to be aware of what you're getting into here. I have a high deductible insurance plan, uh, through work and we have our self-insured. We're a very big company. Um, so, um, it, they're, Pretty good benefits overall, but I, I just feel like you got some skin in the game when you have a high deductible plan. I'm on the hook ultimately for 2600 bucks out of pocket before the insurance kicks in at all. And then after that, it's 80-20 up to 5000 So um, not that it's kind of gauche to share that stuff. I don't mean to be, but I think it's important in this, um, you know, I think it's important in this community that you, we talk honestly and openly and, and uh, sincerely about these kinds of things because this is a big piece of it. Um, Let's give some costs. <clears throat> My surgeon, who is here in Colorado Springs, highly recommended one of the premier um, uh, surgery centers here. I mean, actually, in, in the country. <coughs> I apologize. Um, they're looking at $2,100 to $2,200 for their piece of the action just for the surgery. Um, the anesthesiologist said about $1,800 because it's billed by the... Um, it's billed by the the minute, um, and that was based on an average surgery of 45 to an hour. Um, although my insurance company has a negotiated rate there that only allows 825 So that just goes to show you there's $1,000 on the table gets taken off with a negotiated rate between the insurance company and the open rate. Um, so that may matter if you're paying on the open rate. And you know what? If you're paying cash, I suggest you negotiate your own darn rate because um, cash talks. Um, then let's talk about the hospital. So the hospital... Said I, uh, due to the way uh, the rules are, I need to pay up front um, my portion of the the bill before anything goes down. So they assume I met my um, deductible for the year. So they assume I've already paid that twenty six hundred for the year, and then they build me out at the eighty twenty split. But the day I show up, I owe a thousand, uh, almost a thousand two hundred. It's a thousand one hundred and twenty ish. But you know, I'm sure that it could it could change if I stay longer, stay more than one night. Um, but that's 1100 bucks out of my pocket the second I walk through the door. Um, so uh, that means the total bill is going to be about 6000 Because if that only represents 20%, um, the rest of the bill would be about 6000 So um, that's, again, only if, only if everything goes swimmingly and it's only there one day and all that good stuff. So looking at these things ahead of time, if you were paying out of pocket, you know, right there, if we go on the high side, you're looking at about, uh, let's see, 4000 about 10000 bucks right out of pocket if you do it here. That's uh, that's pretty scary. Now, again, if you're paying cash, I'm sure you can negotiate. Depends on how savvy you are. I definitely would push for that. I was in sales at one point. I know everything's negotiable. Um, I would also say that uh, you look at those Mexico options because a lot of the folks in the community have had the surgeries in Mexico, been very happy with them, and the costs are significantly less, and the quality of care seems to be pretty amazing as far as um, all the stuff that goes with it, like the hotel ahead of time and the recovery center, et cetera. So check it out. So... Know what you're getting into. Start sacking that money away. Now, let's give you some bad news. I've read some articles that say due to the new Affordable Health Care Act, I will reserve all comment from that point on, um, this, this surgery will not be covered in most states. So you really need to start putting the money away if you're planning on doing it. And again, I would look at other countries for other options um, and uh, you know, negotiating ahead of time with Folks here in the country, doctors here in the country. So, 
uh, think about it. Um, but you know, if you're starting this process now, like TJ said, it could take six months just to get to the point where you're even talking about having a, a, a date. And, uh, you know, depending on what state you live in and how the new health care act kicks in, you could be, you could be looking out of pocket. So start putting the money away now. Uh, that's, that's the way to go. I did. I put it in my HSA account, uh, prepaid it, you know, it's tax, um, free. If you put it into the HSA directly on a high deductible plan. So I've been sacking that money away for the last six months. Um, and thank goodness, because it looks like I'll probably hit the full, not my, my full tilt. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if I paid the whole 5,000, uh, capped myself out for the year. So, all right. So, um, kind of jumping on to something else. So why did I choose VSG? Um, TJ and I talked about this in our podcast and we did a few uh, audio podcasts. If you want to check them out, great. It's a uh, fatkings.podcast.com. Um, you may have to put the HTTP slash slash in front of that. I'm not sure, but, um, it seems to work for me. And I just type it straight in, but, um, for those of you that didn't and don't want to go listen to all of them, um, I was looking originally at, um, the, the uh, uh, lap band, just when I considered it, I'm like, hey, if I was going to do anything, I'd do lap band. I didn't, uh, gastric for me was not an option. I didn't like the malnutrition piece of it. I'm not saying it's wrong for others. It wasn't right for me. Um, I know some people have had it. Um, they've had success with it, um, but it just, it just wasn't for me. I, I just didn't like the idea of it. The lap band I wasn't thrilled with uh, either, though, because I really liked the idea of a, something foreign in there and then the constant port accessing I'm, I'm not a big needle fan and I, I know you're all laughing because there's me plenty of needles in the hospital which i'm trying not to think about but um so um i just was not a big idea big on the idea of somebody having to adjust that thing all the time and you know i've heard of slippage and i've heard of blockage i mean you hear horror stories of anything but i just didn't sound like the right choice for me i just uh, gut instinct wasn't right for me no pun intended um the sleeve though when i heard about the sleeve i thought well that makes sense and the other thing i liked about the sleeve is it's still require some work. I don't mean to say that the, um, the gastric doesn't, I'm not saying that, but, um, you know, go watch some videos of some folks who are further along and they'll tell you, you know, with the sleeve, you got to do the work and stay with it and watch your eating and eat well and, and all that good stuff. So, um, and without the, without the side effect of the malnutrition and just from a purely uneducated, I'm not a surgeon, obviously, but I just, you know, everything I've ever worked on in life, the less you mess with the in poor input and the output of something, the better. So I like the idea that, that the sleeve is really just about trimming down the stomach size and not messing around with the input or the output of the food um, coming in or out of your body. So that, that's why I chose it. Um, and, and to me, I'm looking, let me give you an analogy. So the tank, you know, as in the tank in warfare, completely changed the, the way wars were fought. Trench warfare was bloody. It was terrible. Um, thousands of people would die for inches of ground. I mean, you'd take one trench and then you'd fall back and you sit back and forth, back and forth. The tank came in and eliminated all that because you couldn't deal with the tank just with infantry. So tra- trench warfare became a thing of the past. Now, great for the guy who has the tank, bad for the guy who doesn't. But for me, the surgery is the tank. The war will still be going on. I'm going to still be fighting this battle the rest of my life. and I'll still be fighting this demon till the day I die. But now I've got a tank and now I've got an opportunity to plow through and get rid of this gain 60, lose 60, you know, whether it's yards or pounds, I mean, I don't have to do this anymore. I can, I can focus on doing the work and seeing results and having a positive reinforced, you know, um, situation from that. So, um, now that's really what I'm looking for now. I wake up sometimes in the morning and I did today when I'm like, Oh my God, I'm really doing this. You know, like there is that still that point in me. That's like, I'm really doing this. I'm really going to do this. I'm really going to go to this extreme. Um, you know, that, that lasts for a couple seconds, but there's just like that initial, like, Oh my God, what am I doing? Kind of, kind of shock. Um, you know, I want to figure out why can't I just do this like a normal person, um, or whatever. Um, I, I, now when I, when I'm fully awake and I process that all through logically and I think about all the trials and tribulations and all the, the things I've done to, to lose weight, to get fit, to be healthy, um, th- it makes sense. I, I totally get it. This is the great tool. This is the tank I need. So that, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, um, so another thing I, I kind of have been catching myself doing, um, other than saying, wow, in 23 days, I'm going to be going to surgery is, um, 
my friend had a birthday this weekend and um, I didn't fly out for it. I, I wasn't invited. I mean, I wasn't not invited, but they just didn't get to the point where they were asking, hey, are you coming out? So um, I uh, saw the pictures and I thought, wow, it would have been fun to be there and stuff. And I'm thinking a year from now, that's going to be back and I'm going to be physically very different by then. I mean, and how is that going to impact that kind of social dynamic and, and uh, there, there's a lot of that stuff going around. And I'm certainly not saying that my friends are going to turn their backs on me because I'm thin or something. But, um, you know, I do worry though about how is it going to be different. And then I also, you know, when we would go out and, um, get together and party, we'd go out and drink and carry on all night, what have you. Um, you don't know that I'm going to be able to do that, um, with this tool. I don't know that drinking, I mean, they don't want you drinking anything for a year on most of the stuff I read, uh, alcohol wise. Um, so I don't know if that's going to change the way I socially interact with those folks who still can or not, or, you know, and it's one of those things where I'm like small price to pay. I'll figure it out when I get there. And again, a lot of these things, like I said last time, I back burner a lot of these issues. They come into my brain. They start to concern me. And I'm like, you don't have to worry about that today. You don't have to worry about that till a year from now. So, um, that's kind of interesting. And then I had another friend who was talking about coming out and I'm kind of like, yeah, I kind of, I kind of don't want to see you till. I'm through this process a little more, um, which sounds strange. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to hide it from my friends. Anybody can access this video. And if you are one of my friends and you're watching this video, I'm not hiding it from you. I'm just not going out of my way to tell you about it. So anyway, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's something in my head. Um, I guess I can explore it more, but I'm not going to. So that's kind of that. Um, I do want to tell you guys, um, take the time, you know, uh, if, if you're watching my videos and you're, you know, further back in the process, or this is six months from now and you're watching this video. Um, you know, I, I will tell you the importance of having mentors, um, in this community and online for me has been huge. Um, I hope that I'm that for somebody someday. I certainly, um, am making these videos partially because of that, but, um, you know, people like VSG Kirk and, and, um, uh, you know, Michael VSG and VSG Bear and Sarah, uh, less of Sarah, you know, I watch those guys' videos every day. Oh, J Corey J. Cook. I watch his videos all the time. And then, of course, Max Pa. We talked about that. Uh, Max Benson. Um, I, I watch those guys' videos every time they put a video out. And that's my support group. Because here, the support group in town meets like on the third Saturday and the second Tuesday and the third. Every day I can't get there except for maybe that third Saturday. Um, they, they meet. And unfortunately, I just can't get there. And um, so to keep myself accountable, I'm doing this. Um, I'm, you know, accountable to myself, accountable to, to the community, um, just being a part of it, trying to join in, trying to, um, you know, follow in the footsteps of those that came before me. So the importance of the videos that you guys put up, um, all the people I mentioned is huge to me. And I hope that I can be that for somebody someday. Um, you know, when I hear things like, uh, VSG Kirk, I think said today he lost He's down to 235. I, I can't imagine 235. I can't even conceive of that six months from now. I let alone a year from now. If I got to 235 in a year from surgery day, I would be thrilled. If I did in six months, I, I, my head would be spinning. And then um, same thing with the mic. I mean, Mike's lost a ton of weight too. And I'm sorry, I don't have a handy here. I was just watching the videos. I should. Uh, but there were like 10 videos. So like one with Sarah, one without Sarah. And was, but, um, you know, that, that's kind of where it's at. And um, these guys are doing great. They're killing it. Sarah's killing it. Max is killing it. Max is down almost 250. I know. I think Mike's almost down to 250. Yeah, Mike's down to 257. Again, I can't even imagine that. So um, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy and, and very inspirational. So um, thank you guys for doing that. I guess that's all I really wanted to say there. So, um, I was going to get into the whole rigmarole of things I'm not going to miss, but guess what? We got a couple more weeks before I have to go have surgery. So we'll get to that in another week. And I think I'm gonna let you guys have the extra 30 seconds back. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Um, again, I, I hope that, uh, I'm offering or offering up something to the community that, that, uh, others can find valuable. And, um, if not, it's, it's good for me. It helps me vent, helps me get these thoughts out there. So, um, yeah, if you guys hear anything in there that you want to comment about, um, or if you've had the same, similar concerns or similar experiences, I, I'll take the feedback. You know I mean? I'll, I'll take it. Um, feel free to drop it on me. All right. Thanks.